What's up guys? Welcome back to episode number 24 of the Road to Super Sonic Legends series. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Today we're John Handman. You know, the other day we were John Bandman, but we got his older brother today. Um, and I think this picture is hilarious. I spent a lot of time making sure it looked <laughs> as perfect as possible. But last episode we ended up at, at Diamond 2 Division 4. So we're finally moving into Diamond 3. We'll be moving into Champion 1 soon. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. We're getting into really good uh, gameplay now. You can see from the last episode, if you didn't watch it, uh, my teammate was actually really, really solid. He ended, ended up actually being a fan of mine. So it was really cool to play with him for a little bit. But we're jumping into these games. We'll see how it goes. And uh, thank you to Dumb for Life for this recommendation for this name. But if you are following along with the series or enjoying my other daily content and you haven't subscribed yet, it helps me out a ton. And we're trying to go for 1 million subscribers. I, I bet we can do it, hopefully. But... I never want to, you know, second guess myself. Um, and I'm planning something pretty special for 1 million subscribers, but I can't say what it is yet. Let's get into the games and see how it goes. All right, Dale, don't let me down. Let's see how we do. Um, this should be a pretty good match. I, I think that we're getting into really good, good gameplay here. We got a teammate or an opponent who's from the other side of the world, apparently. Um, I don't really see that too often, especially at these ranks, but this guy's going to try and throw it into the corner. Um, let's see if he stays with it. He ends up backing off, so now I can just pop it around the wall. Take out the wall and bring it around. Let's see what happens to this guy. Good challenge. So right there, I'm, right there, I'm waiting for um, him to throw the ball to me. And if he controls it, that's good. Then I have to back off. So let's see. I'm just going to wait for the flick. There we go. It's a good try for my teammate. It's actually good because he keeps possession with that touch. Also, one quick quick thing I do want to mention is that the uh, the Egyptian parkour video that I put out a few days ago, um, that that map is now available on my website leftmere.com if you want to check it out. It's a good try. It's not on target, so we can just wait here. That's fine. It ended up working out because it bumped over the one player, but Dale seems to be want, wanting to be on the ball a lot. So once again, we recognize that and we want to stay in a good position where we don't overcommit with my teammate. It's a good try. Right here, I'm just going to wait for the ball to pop off the backboard and then make a touch. Once again, I see my teammate wanting to go. This is why I'm going to fake that. In that situation, you might think, okay, I should just go for that. But you see how my teammate committed. And uh, if I don't go, then I'm in a better position. My teammate really needs to go earlier. It's okay, though. Get a good flick here. See what happens. Oh, we missed. Okay, so all I did was all I did was there was uh, try and grab possession. The entire time I had this ball in my car, I'm really watching the uh, the guy True God there, um, and then the second I see him cut in front of me, that's when I go for that flick. And I know you guys, uh, I mentioned a while ago about the eye tracker. I will be looking into that and try to get that for this series later on if I can. Uh, no promises, but I'll definitely be doing eye tracker in the future for some videos because I think it's cool. Also, let me know if you guys want to see like a, a video where I. I have some 3v3 like high ranked gameplay because I'm actually like top 30 now in threes. Um, but instead, what I do is I use the replay and talk about what I what I did instead of you know play by play at the exact second. Right here, I'm just gonna bring it across on that touch. Keeps it away from them. Baiting in the 50-50. I'll start towards that and see what happens. Let them get a 50-50. Dale kind of committed a little bit early and kind of miss. So right here, because my teammate's late, I gotta watch out for the shot. Kind of positioning behind on the near the back post a little bit. Once again, my teammate overcommitted a little bit again, so I'm just gonna wait. See how these fakes are really throwing them off, and that's how you're gonna get up up in the ranks. Just waiting behind. I won't throw this on target. I'll just throw it onto the sidewall and see what happens. Teammate has a free shot. Good try. I guess he's a little scared to shoot for some reason. <laughs> Not sure why. Okay. There we go. Okay, I didn't really want my teammate to do that. But I ended up committing. Uh, not committing, but he ended up uh, recovering enough. I would have liked to throw that across the net. My teammate didn't trust me. That's that's in middle, but once again, I talked about this a lot in the older episodes. That when the ball throws across in the middle of the net like that, um, most of the time it's the, op the opponents who are going to get possession. Okay, thanks. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't want to control one v one. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. I'm gonna hit that backboard. See what my teammate does. Should be an open shot. Okay, I, I need to stop like saying things because it's just not not gonna happen. I'm not gonna lie, this guy's not very good for diamonds. We've had better teammates in the last episodes, but it's okay. Here I'm just gonna flick it towards net, and there we go, get an early shot. So, um, you know, I'm kind of carrying him, 
For honestly, for the last couple episodes in Diamond, we haven't had to carry our teammates too much. But this guy's a special case, and it's no offense to Dale. Uh, just doesn't seem as consistent. Seems to want to just throw the ball away a lot, which is actually kind of like what we've been getting for opponents a lot too. I'm gonna pass this left. Kind of gets cut off, which is good. Dale's in a good position though. Good 50-50. Gotta wait. Pump the other player in and see if he gets a shot. There we go. He's looking a little more consistent now. Maybe, maybe he's a little nervous. Maybe it's his first game of the day. Who knows? But uh, I don't mean to rip into the guy. <laughs> they end up leaving too, so well played. And Dale just pieces it out too. Jeez. I'm all alone. All right. Well, first game. You know, that might be the, the promotion to D Division uh, or D Diamond 3. Let's see what happens. Apparently, I was a bench warmer for hitting it 100 times. That's cool. And no no promotion. So we'll move on. I, th I bet this next game we'll get it. All right, John Hanman back at it again. We got Sheepler on my team this time, and it's a, a party. So this is interesting. We haven't seen a party too often. It's been a lot of solo queue lately, but see if they're in comms. You can kind of tell with where they're positioning and stuff. Good catch. Right here, I'll pop it towards net. I think I should be able to get this. There we go. It's a good pass. So right there, the uh, I don't know who it was. I think it was Carlos. He ended up committing really, really hard. And uh, that's a pretty open shot. Like, all I have to do is loop wide on the ball on the right side, and then I can make a shot on the goal. Make sure when you have those open net opportunities, you don't have, um, you don't panic too much, because you have a lot more time than you think. And you know what? If you didn't, if you didn't make the goal, so be it. Make it consistent, um, so that way at least, at least you have good pressure. Good 50-50. It's really good. People are looking really consistent so far. Let's see what, he, what he's got in this touch. Good try. So there we go. The, the player kind of threw it away. Oh man, that was, that was a really good. That was a really good attempt. I like that he rushed that twice. Makes me have to back off in shadow. Oh, okay, that's fine. A hey, good touch, and Carlos overcommitted too once again. So Carlos is really anti on that that uh, the, on the trigger on the jumps. Kind of threw it away. Let's pop it up. Wait for my teammate. He wants to take a, take a shot. Once again, that's a chance where he could have uh, looped around wide a little bit on the ball. Okay, I'm going to wait here again on the, on the thing. On the thing. Nice. That's really good. Really good commentary by me today, honestly. <laughs> Got to wait on the thing. So what I was waiting there for was the uh, the pass out or the uh, the dribble. Good positioning by my teammate there. Ooh, okay. A bit of a miss that I didn't expect. Should be okay, though. Just pop it off the wall. Got to wait for Carlos on this touch. <laughs> going to stay with this. He's probably back a little bit. Which should give it to my teammate. Okay, he's a little bit uh, hesitant. That's okay, though. I'm actually going to wait here. My teammate's going to want to challenge. And there we go. He's going to grab the mid boost. So what I'm going to do instead is grab these pads right here. You see how I just went from 21 to 69. <laughs> I'm so funny. All right, once again, just pop it around the corner. They're getting really, really good solid pops to the, uh, the backboard. So I'm ending up having to jump a little more and committing. It's a good touch. I might get bumped here, so I'm going to jump early. That's a good 50-50. This could be dangerous for us. Hopefully my teammate positions on that backboard, which he does. Good job. Right there, I was looking for bumps in middle. If... I'm just going to wait for this. I don't even know where the guy is. It wasn't too worried about that guy coming from around the corner, especially in diamond, but I'm um, at higher ranks. Maybe you need to be a little more worried. Okay, I fake that guy. Play 50-50, and right here, I'll wait for this guy to touch the ball. Let's back off. I got zero boost. I don't really want to jump off the uh, the bat the side wall without boost. As you can see, it was a good call because if I did, it would have probably been a goal. That's a good bump, but my teammate gets a really good dunk too. Could be in. Really good read. Nice job. Really good patience to know that he has some time to wait there. Because a lot of players would jump up early and then immediately just miss because those are really hard to read. But a good good play on that. And they end up leaving after two goals. Literally twos across the board. Except for them, they got zero. <laughs> but that's the second game. Quick forfeits. I don't think I'm doing too much. My teammate honestly kind of carried me there. I don't really know because I think that he left, but... Um, yeah, honestly, I have no idea. I'm all alone once again. What's happening? I just keep, I keep ending up being alone, but we got promoted to Diamond 3, Division 1 here. Uh, moving really close to Champ 1. Hey, look, it's, it's Sandman. <laughs> we got Get Wrecked and Sand. Let's see how it goes. Um, power bottom. Really good, uh, good 50-50. It keeps us safe in the corner. Get Wrecked might take a shot, but I want to see my teammate come across, which is good. I'm going to push up and get a 50-50 as well. I want to support my teammate in that situation. Right here, I'm going to let him go first. Okay, he backed off behind me. That's fine. I kind of confused him. Not gonna lie, so. 50-50. I'll wait for Sandman here. Gave me the ball. I'll throw this to the right because there's no one there. It gets over the one player too. And right here, I can try to commit on this one and beat the other player. 
See if my teammate finishes it. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, I'm gonna leave that boost for him. See if he stays. He might actually try to commit again, which is okay. Um, but he's a really low boost, so that situation don't really want him to commit. I'm gonna get a bit backflip here. Good pace of my teammate. Didn't jump in on the on that touch with me. Good job. Let's see if get wrecked touches it to the corner. Good touch. My teammate took the boost too, so. All right, good defense by Sand there. All right, good touch as well. Let's see my teammates behind me. So we we had someone who's super aggressive, and now someone who's pretty passive. It's interesting to see like people at certain ranks. They just you see a bunch of stuff. That's a really good touch. But I'll use some boost, take it behind, then pop it off the backboard. Good demo. Let's see if my teammate gets the touch. Good job. Get to clear down the field. It left me the boost, which is really nice of them. Honestly, they could have taken that and then caused more pressure. A little dangerous to go as last man, so once again, I'm going to back off. He could jump before this and get the bo uh, boost or, or touch the ball. So I decided to go early. Watching for the high boom. Honestly, him going is really good because the ball's already traveling in my direction. I know I can beat him. It's a decent touch, but it goes back to the opponents. Um, because the ball is traveling towards me, I'm not really too worried about it. Because I know I can beat him, and the fact that he goes is actually better for me. Because that means if I touch the ball around him, then it's a uh, it's a one v one v one or a two v one for our team. Okay, a bit of a miss. I'll pop this off the backboard pretty hard. Okay, so <laughs> don't do what my teammate just did. I've got the ball tight against the wall, and uh, that might be a goal actually. Never mind. Um, so never, never do that. I've got the ball tight against the wall. The only option I really have is a pass or a solo play. Never, um, and and you really don't want to. Uh, play for the solo play and a demo there because you're just really over committing. It's a good try. It's gonna be them on defending there Never go for a, de a demo in that situation. I need to like reiterate that that's so bad because it's so High of a chance for the situation to be bad. I'm fake knowing that by the way, but he ended up missing anyway um, So high of a chance my teammate is going for demos a lot in weird spots So that's why we're like still zero zero here, but you can see we're just holding our holding our own Making sure to carry my teammate a little bit again. This is a day of carrying uh, my teammates. I'm not really sure what's happening. Okay. Teammate kind of confused me there. He really doesn't know what he wants to do. And that's like... He's kind of lost. Not going to lie. i wait for the demo attempt. That's why I go behind. There we go. Try for a backboard flick here. Good. Teammate should have this ball. I could have probably beat them there, but I don't want to be over aggressive. I'm gonna throw this off the wall if I can. This could be pretty dangerous for us, actually. We could probably get scored on here. If my teammate doesn't get in the right position. But she does get a good 50 50, which is good. Once again, he's chasing for demos. Look at him go, man! That is not the play. I'm <laughs> gonna be honest with you. Let's see if my teammate can, can back me up here. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's going for demos. Having a little more luck uh, going for the, the player than the ball. Round one player. See my teammate gets it. So a little bit more forward would be better because it ends up passing to my uh, the opponent once again. It's a pretty tough game here. Might actually lose this one. I'm going to be honest with you. This is this game is a struggle to win. I don't know why. It's like, I don't really... Okay. Oh, what a save. See, I, I don't want to like jinx myself. But I'm trying not to do too much on the ball. To get clear to the side. My teammate's waiting, so I'm gonna go again. And there we go. We're actually in overtime. That's crazy. We haven't been in overtime in, the, in these games in a while. Um, my teammate's just not positioning in a good spot to cover a lot of options, and he's going for a lot of uh, like demos and spots where he really shouldn't be. That's a high pop off the uh, last player, so it's a good play. All right, so see if he passes it out here. Okay, he could have flicked that instead. Would have hit it right to me. Soft backboard. See my teammate can make a challenge. It's a decent touch, but it goes right to them again. High ball. Let's see what happens. Okay, my teammate is confusing me. He's like trying to do both things at once. Should be clear towards target here. It's over his head. I could score this. And I'm probably going to. <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't think this guy was like... I don't know. Not his game. I'm going to be honest with you, but... He's just kind of going for uh, for demos a lot in this in a lot in situations where he shouldn't be, and kind of just slow. Um, 
But it was a good game regardless. And I think that's going to be... Oh, we'll get one, one more game, actually. Let's do one more. Honestly, if I if I would give one tip to the, my teammate, um, is to just be more reliable on, on positioning on touches that I'm making or the opponents are making. Because a lot of the times, like, I'm in situations where I'm last man where I shouldn't be. And uh, my teammate could have probably made more touches in situations where it goes to himself or to me instead of the opponents. Uh, and obviously those demos are just not, not good to go for, the, the bumps and stuff. But let's jump into the next game. We'll see how it goes. It'll be the last game of the, the series or the episode today. I obviously don't mean to rip into anybody in the series. I just, I'm just trying to point out things that are going wrong. Um, and then maybe that helps somebody who, who usually does go for those kind of demos and stuff, for example. Um, and finds themselves improving because they are more reliable for the teammates. Don't leave your teammate in too many 1v1s or 2v2s. That's why I was having to defend a lot. It's a good demo. Um, but even in this demo, I should... Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, that is the, the dumbest spawn. The ball was literally on top of my head. Right here, I'll leave it for my teammate instead. I'll rush across. Kish should probably uh, make a touch here. It's decent. It's going to go for, for me here, and I'll pop it forward. going to put that off backward. Teammate wants to jump for it, which is okay. Okay, he's not in a position at all, so... It's going to pop over one. Oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> like, I just don't know how some people don't have eyes in, in the front of their head that, that tell them, you know, maybe I shouldn't jump at... A car that's sitting under me but you know it's fine i'm not gonna get tilted from a diamond game that's for sure i'll bring this around to get this boost instead pop off the wall it's a good hit forward my teammate should have this good touch good try in the 50 50 that's really good, really good play okay pass it middle teammate like my teammate is sitting in front of the ball i'm not <laughs> like i just don't know man just move man just do something there we go a good shot towards target like calm down if you like just move behind the field a little bit just move back there we go that is crazy man just don't just back up for your teammate once again i'm just kind of i'm kind of like running away with the game here my teammate has 18 points the reason why he has 18 points is because he just does not come back he is just sitting forward and not and not letting me you know become the first man ever he's just sitting in front this is not good gameplay. Like, for Diamond, I think this should be... Like, this is lower quality than it really should be. You need to be a little bit better than that. Make better decisions. Get behind your teammate. I don't know, man. This is a weird game. Honestly, we see a weird episode today. Like, just come back. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I feel your pain. You, you, you guys who have experienced this... He just does not come back. Go back. <laughs> just go back. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Good job. So good clear. I'll move back. I'll move forward and finally be first man for the first time. Good demo from the opponent. Leaves it open. This guy's trying to chase me too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just going to stop commenting about it. I'm gonna grab this boost before uh, he takes it. See, my teammate wants to stay with it. Good 50 50. I'll pop it towards. Okay, never mind. I missed. <laughs> I'll pop it towards him now because he's probably forward. He just really doesn't know if he wants to go back or not. So, right here is a bit dangerous. I'll go out for it so it gets a 50 50. I'm sure, my teammate's probably gonna want to cut in front of me when he does. It's a good pop in middle. Once again, it's gonna go to the opponents first, so I'm gonna wait. Good for him to rotate finally back behind me. There we go. Okay, I'm right there, but he wants to go. That's fine. He actually made a good shot. So, you know what? I will shut my mouth right now. That's a good play. Obviously, I could have made that shot too. But once again, I'm really bit, a little bit hesitant with this guy to do anything. As you can see, I backed off because he went for the shot. Um, honestly, you just got to deal with it and move on. It's just going to happen here and there. As you can see, we had just two games in a row where just people are not rotating, not making good decisions. And you got to kind of carry the game a little bit. Um, let's see what happens here. Good play. Good of him not to jump off the wall, though. And good pass. Honestly, that was a really good play. It's not in target. I'm not on target, though. I, I kind of missed. But good job. That was a good pass. <laughs> that, was, that was like the first good thing I've seen him do. Where he decided to bring it infield. And I, I went for the top corner. I really shouldn't have. I really should have scored that. Um, it's definitely on me. But he fin finished it off anyway. And uh, he's all of a sudden like, it's like he's listening or something, man. Um, getting in people's heads. Okay, he took the back corner, so I'm going to be low here. I'm going to grab a few pads before I jump into the corner. 
My teammate might, might spawn on the side. He didn't, but he could have. And I don't want to overcommit with him. Let my teammate take it. Kind of pops it towards the opponent, though. So here I'm going to wait on the backboard. And then flip it out. Now we can wait for the, uh, the opponents to take the ball in possession. As I said, in that situation, the, the teammate, the opponents are going to get the possession. So my teammate trying to jump up for that isn't going to work out. Okay, cut me off. That's okay, though. I'll take the ball anyway. I'm going to get a demo if I don't go. I'm going to just miss this. Okay, never mind. I didn't miss. I... <laughs> I hit the tires of my car, so I was trying to hit that to the corner because we already have three goals, but we ended up winning that game. What a weird episode today. I, honestly, I think that was like the lowest quality games we've had in Diamond in the past like three episodes, even though we had like some toxic players and a guy that was ball chasing. He was making consistent touches as a ball chaser. If you, if you didn't watch that episode, definitely rego I recommend watching that one. Um, hilarious thumbnail too. I think we worked really hard on that one, but I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, honestly, the main takeaway for this episode is really really hounding on that solid anchor position you don't want to get salty with your teammates directly towards them i know i kind of like hounded on him in comms here for myself but i would never ever say something to him because he doesn't need to hear that like he's obviously trying to improve he's trying to win um everyone's trying to do their best um and you can have a little bit of fun with it and you know complain but uh don't be toxic towards him obviously i, I think honestly he's looking like he's making decent touches when he has the ball but his positioning is just super like inconsistent because of the fact that his boost usage is always low because he's sitting upfield. He needs to sometimes return back and, and get some boost at sometimes. So, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Like I said, until next time, have a great day, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.